We're going to continue talking about the sweeping commands here. This time sweep two rails. Now this is a pretty neat command that can really do some neat stuff. I'll start with a circle and then a larger circle. The larger circle, however, I'm going to rebuild 20 points, delete my original circle, and now we're just going to kind of mess with this a little bit. I'm selecting some of these points here. As you can see, just changing the basic shape of this thing in a fairly symmetrical way. I'm not trying to keep it exact. Okay. Now we'll move this one down here. So these are actually both rail curves. Now at this point, I need to make the cross section curve. Now since my two rails are both going to be accounted for, my cross section curve needs to span both. So we'll do it like that. And then actually this rail curve, I'm going to right click my scale tool, we'll make it a little smaller still. About like that. I'm going to turn on my edit points here. Just make our top curve a little bit simpler. Okay, now let me show you what we've got in our perspective viewport. We have a rail curve at the bottom, a rail curve at the top. And then perpendicular to those goes our cross-section curve, the curve that will actually do the sweep around the rail curves. Let's select all three. Surface, sweep two rails. Do not simplify. That's fine. Maintain height is an option that we can check. Or closed sweep. Let's check Close Sweep, press OK. And so here, as you can see, what the rail curves are doing is actually controlling the diameter much more tightly than they would otherwise. So if I delete that shape, Let's try again. I'll bring my curve in very close this time by moving some of the points around. Surface, sweep, one rail. Interesting what happens when I try to sweep one rail instead of two. What it actually did was decided that this that I have highlighted was my rail curve and that these two must have been cross-section curves. Sweep two rails. As you can see, nice control on the height and the change in height between the two top and bottom. Now if I do that again, and uncheck close sweep. There's actually not a whole lot of difference in this case, although there would be if any of my curves were open curves. Now in general, I could sweep one rail here as well. But let's see the difference. As you can see, it's a much simpler shape because it's not taking into account the complexity of my bottom curve. Surface. Let's try sweep one rail again. Road-like can change the nature of the sweep based on the viewport. We'll take a quick look of what that looks like with the bottom rail. pretty messy, as you can see. In this case, sweeping two rails is a much better option. And so that's the difference between sweep one and two rails.